In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can uh, tackle Activity 2 in a analytical way by looking for the data. Before the exam, you must have decided on what tables you're going to use in the exam. That's very important to read through the scenario and decide on that, and there is another video which will help you do that. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can actually handle data because um, you won't know the exact fields that you're going to be using, the exact data types of everything. You might make have made some mistakes or some assumptions when you were looking at the scenario. So the first thing we do is open up Excel. Now, this is not necessary, you're not going to get any marks for this. This is just simply a way of tackling Activity 2 to make sure you are 100% correct. So I'm going to go to Data. And I'm going to import the data you get from the exam board. Okay, this is something you have to do in the exam. So I'm going to go from text, and I've got my two text files here. Now, in this exam, the July 2011 exam, we have two uh, text files. So I'm going to choose film data. I'm going to go delimited. And if you've done the unit three exam, this should be very familiar. So I'm going to click on the comma delimited, just click on finish, and click on OK. I'm then going to go and create another sheet and I'm going to import the other text file. Now it doesn't really matter if you've got one text file or two text files uh, or even three. Um, the process is the same. So I'm just going to import the data in. So straight away what you can do is have a look at the structure of the data. You can look to see if any data is repeated because that will suggest there's a one-to-many link. Um, in this case you can see each row in the member table is unique. Um, that means that in this case, I, I don't need to do much with it. In this one, you can see I've got straight away, I've got duplicate data in the film um, table. So uh, that's obviously a problem, you're not allowed duplicate data. So that would need sorting out. So the next thing you do is create a new sheet and copy the field names over from the text files that you've just imported, like so. Then, what you do is write underneath the names of the tables you came up with when you looked at the scenario before the exam. So in this case, I came up with the idea of having a member table, a film table, a um, review table, and finally, I thought I'd need payment table. And also uh, you need to consider the relationships between these tables. Okay, In this case um, the review table will have a link to the member table and a link to the film table because the review will be written by members and a member can write many reviews. And a review can be written about film, and a film can have many reviews as well. A member can make many payments on many films, which is why I'm going to put the links there. I'm going to write the names of the tables underneath to remind me that those um, links have to go in there. And you always put your links or foreign keys, to use a proper term, you always put your foreign keys on the many side of the link. So let's get started then. Let's start off with the member table because it's very straightforward in this exam. And all I'm going to do is going to copy in order all the fields that I think link to that table. Okay. In this case, it's all these fields, which makes my life a bit easier. It's not always that straightforward, sadly, but in this case, it happens to be that simple. So member table sorted. Film table. Now, the film table should obviously have the film ID. Uh, it should have the title of the film and the genre. Um, and let's have a look at film month. Now, should film month go in there or not? Well, let's have a look. Now, film month, well, you can see here the film month is being duplicated. Uh, but is it the same for each film? It looks like it is. So in that case, it probably would go with a film table. So I'm going to put it there. Because the film has no foreign keys, I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's do the review next. The review table. 
needs the review ID. Um, the review has a comment. It certainly doesn't have a date paid. It makes no sense. It will have a star rating. But hang on, it's got two links. It has a link to the member table and a link to film table. It has two foreign keys. So I need to put those in as well. So it has a link to the member table. And the primary key for the member table is a username. So let's find username and put that in. And that becomes just after the review ID. So I'm going to move these down. And what I'm trying to do is keep them in order. Okay, that will help you when creating the tables. I also need a link to the film table. So that's there. And that comes before everything else. So I'm going to add it beforehand. Again, it's really important to keep things in order because that will make the import much simpler. And also make sure that you always include the foreign keys. Okay. So the payment table, again, um, the payment table, this time I'm going to put my foreign key straight in. The film ID needs to go in, so that's first. Um, I don't need any of those. I need the member, so username goes in. The date paid goes in, the amount paid goes in, uh, the payment ID goes in, and then none of that, re the rest of that doesn't go with payments. In this case, the payment uh, table, you notice that the foreign key, uh, sorry, the primary key of the payment table is actually at the bottom of the table. That's actually just the way it's laid out. I don't know why they did that that way, but it, they have. So um, you put it in the exact order they want it in. Once you've done this analysis, once you are happy, you've got every field in there. Oh, or just one last thing, you notice that it's got first name, last name, address line one in the um, uh, the film data source, but it also has it in the members data source. Well, it's not a, a primary key. None of these are primary keys. None of these are foreign keys. Ergo, they only ever go in table once. Okay, that's one rule you must always follow. If it's not a primary, key, if it's not a foreign key, it only goes in once into one table. So it's already in the member table. So I effectively ignore it from the film table. Okay. Once you've done that, the next step is to put this into Access. So I'm just going to open Access. I've created a blank database, and I'm going to create a table. I like using Design View. Uh, you don't have to, but I do. So and I'm going to call this first one the member table. Click on OK. And what I'm going to do is really simple. I'm just going to copy across all of the fields like this. So I'm going to copy and paste. Once you've done the hard work in Excel, this becomes a very simple mechanical process. What you must do, and this is really important, is ensure that you do this in the exact order that they appear in the text file. The next thing, and this is really important, you must make sure that the date types are correct. Okay? So have a look at the date types, have a look at the data. So username. The username is a mixture of letters and numbers. If it's letters and numbers, it must be text. The password is text. First name, last name, dress like all these are text, apart from date of birth, which is a date. So I'm going to set that to be date. And accepted, if we look at it, it's either a 1 or a 0, which means that it's going to be yes or no. I save that. And I make sure my prime key is correct. The little key symbol it represents the prime key, and that is on the username, which is correct. So I save that, and I'm happy. I will do the validation later. I create another table. I'm just going to do one more table just to give you an idea. So this time, I'm going to create the re the actually I'll do the payment table because that's a bit odd, ish. So I do the payment table, and again I'm doing the same thing. And this is important. Copy in the exact order, okay? Film ID, username, date paid, amount paid, and the payment ID. Now, first of all, we need to do the date types. Film ID, well, let's have a look at film ID. The film ID is a number, so I set that to be number. Not auto number, 
number. So, there's number. Username, we already know that's text. Date paid, well that's a date. So I set that to be date time. Amount paid, well, the amount paid is money, so that's going to be currency. And the payment ID, let's have a look at it. The payment ID is yet another number, so I set that to be number. Now, you see it's got a little key next to film ID. Well, the film ID is the foreign key, not the prime key. The prime key is a payment ID, so I click on the payment ID here, right click, and set the payment ID as the prime key. The prime key must be set on every table. There are three things which will cause your import to fail. Okay, the first thing is you've got the fields in the wrong order. The second thing is you've got the wrong data type. The third thing is the primary key is not correct.